Okay, invert anatomy in 90 seconds, go. Number one, most important for the invert, core stability. In other words, the stabilization of our spine and pelvis, which is achieved not so much by our six pack muscles, but by the deeper core muscles, primarily the transverse abdominis and the obliques. From this stable base, our hip flexors can then work to lift our knees towards our chest. Usually there's then a slight tuck of the pelvis, bringing those six pack muscles more into play. Now, the most interesting part of the invert, the tip back. Notice how everything stays roughly where it is. The knees stay in this tuck, the spinal position and the distance between the arms and the torso doesn't really change. The only noticeable joint action is the extension of the elbows. The biceps are contracting eccentrically while the triceps work concentrically to control that straightening of the arms. Everything else works mostly isometrically, just holding everything still. Key muscles working are the latissimus dorsi. If we lose the contraction there, the torso can start to drop away from the arms. The erector spinae muscles help to resist this excessive rounding of the spine, keeping our torso nice and tall and our pelvis stacked above our shoulders. Our scapular retractors work to resist gravity and prevent excessive scapular protraction, so we're not just hanging off our arms. So if your invert looks a little bit more like this than like this, it could be one or a combination of those things. Wait, I didn't even talk about the legs or the asymmetry yet. You can find out more on the vlog.